In this exam mini video, we'll be talking about mutations. So this is a DNA coding strand. From this coding strand, you're going to get this mRNA strand in the five prime to three prime direction. With this new mRNA strand, ribosomes will come in and create this string of amino acids from these codons on the mRNA strand. This will be our result. You can see here, this is where our start codon is, and this is our stop codon. Let's run through what would happen if we had four different unique DNA point mutations. And this first one will have a thiamine replace this guanine right here. That, as a result, is going to change this codon into UUC, which, in turn, will cause a missense on this protein. Now, because we replaced a G with a T, that's going to be a transversion. And then the replacement of this amino acid with phenylalanine is going to possibly result in a different protein that is non-functional. Now let's say we replace this adenine with a thiamine. This point mutation is going to result in this codon being replaced and turned into a stop codon, which will stop this protein synthesis prematurely. So the translation of this mRNA won't go fully, and it could result in a non-functional protein from this mutation. A point mutation changing the A into a T would be a transversion as well, and would be a nonsense mutation. For a third mutation, which would be a silent mutation, let's say we were to replace this G with an A. Now with this mutation, our codon is going to be changed from AGG to AGA, which would not change the translation of this amino acid. So we'll still get arginine, and we'll still have the same protein, even with this mutation, due to this uh, third wobble base. Now, this would be a transition, because it's from a G to an A, and it will result in a silent mutation. For our fourth and final mutation, let's say we were to have a C replace this A right here. That would result in this stop codon being changed into UAC, which does not code for a stop codon. And so, because there's no stop codon, we're going to have translation just keep going without any stop. It's just going to keep going on and on and on, because it does not have a stop codon. This is called a read-through, and the replacement of the A with a C is going to be a transversion as well. This is going to result in a possibly non-functional protein, or a protein with a completely different function.